Previously, you have learned the lesson on air pollution. Air pollution causes harmful effects not only to living things but also to the environment. Let's look at each effect of air pollution in more detail. Health problem is one of the harmful effects of air pollution. When air is polluted, it is filled with dust, soot and poisonous gases. Smoke and dust can cause breathing difficulties. Sulfur dioxide can cause respiratory problems. Carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen carried by the blood and causes headaches and brain damage. Asbestos particles can cause lung cancer. Lead particles can cause intellectual disability among children and babies. Humans need to inhale clean air during respiration. However, if unclean air is inhaled, the pollutants inside the air can enter into our body. Some of these dangerous pollutants will be trapped inside our throat and lungs and cause serious respiratory problems. Harmful substances in cigarette smoke can make breathing difficulties and cause severe headache to humans. Next, let's look at the effects of air pollution on buildings and infrastructures. Dust and soot stain buildings. Acid rain corrode concrete and limestone buildings. Acid rain also speeds up iron rusting. What is acid rain? How does acid rain affect our environment and us? Acid rain is rainwater which contains acid due to the pollutants, namely sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen produced by vehicles and factories which dissolve into the rainwater and makes the rainwater acidic. Acid rain corrodes concrete and limestone buildings. Acid rain also speeds up iron rusting. Next, let's look at the effect of air pollution towards plants and animals. Acid rain makes the soil acidic and less fertile. Acid rain makes the source of water acidic and not suitable for the aquatic life. Another effect of air pollution is the depletion of food resources. When the air is filled with the dust and soot, leaves will be covered with this dust and soot. This makes it difficult for the leaves to absorb sunlight and air for photosynthesis and respiration. Air pollution caused by poisonous gases can also kill plants and animals that are exposed to them. Next, let's look at how air pollution affects our climate. Smoke from factories, vehicles and open burning lead to haze. Excessive carbon dioxide contributes to greenhouse effect. What is greenhouse effect? The Earth's atmosphere has always acted like a greenhouse to capture the sun's heat. Without our atmospheric greenhouse, the Earth would be very cold. Today, the problem is not that too little sun warmth is reaching the Earth, but that too much is being trapped in our atmosphere. When too much of carbon dioxide is released to the atmosphere, it will form a thick layer on the atmosphere and will trap the heat from the sun. And so much heat is being kept inside greenhouse earth that the temperature of the earth is going up faster than any previous time in history. Global warming is the slow increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere because an increased amount of heat striking the Earth 
from the sun is being trapped in the atmosphere and not radiated out into the space. As the Earth gets warmer due to the greenhouse effect, the atmospheric temperature will increase. The rise in global temperature changes rainfall patterns and causes drought, flood, and also causes ice in the polar region to melt. Besides the greenhouse effect, excessive chlorofluorocarbon or CFC causes the thinning of the ozone layer. The ozone layer is important in maintaining the atmosphere and protecting the life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet or UV rays of the sun. Air pollution due to chemical known as chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs which are released by our activities affect the ozone layer. This causes the depletion of ozone layer and this allows more harmful UV rays to reach the Earth. You have learned some of the major effects of air pollution. It is important to keep our air clean so that we can grow and live healthily. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.